So welcome everybody to another tutorial. This is going to be a quick one, um, but something old, something new, something that everybody wonders. We're going to talk about colors. We're going to about we're going to talk about color selection, and we are going to talk about how to make new colors, how to bring new colors in, and how to actually grab a mod that is on our game and make it color selectable. Here we are on Elm Creek. In El Elm Creek, it's going to be the base of our of our changes. For an example, we can walk uh, we can go we can walk down here and we can go and find one of my favorite tractors, one of my favorite base tractors of the game. We have the John Deere 4755. I really like this beauty, this beautiful tractor, and I would like to have it, I don't know, blacked out with maybe more metal parts. I don't know. Just unleash your cu your creativity here. We're gonna go to the store and we're gonna go to the brand. And I'm gonna go to the 4755. On the 4755, we don't have any colorful option. We really don't have any option in here that actually allow us to change, to change anything. We cannot even change the rim selection. So. I want to I want this to be a little bit more custom, a little bit more to my liking. So let's get to it and let's see what do we need. Now in order to modify an in-game uh, an in-game tractor, you need to be very, very careful not to change any file that it's in the game. You need to extract them or or modify them as a mod. So you go and you create a new mod from an in-game mod and then you modify your own version of the mod, not the in-game mod. To do that, we're going to need Giants Editor 9.01 or in case you're watching this video like in six months from it's been recorded, the most recent version of Giants Editor 9. Dot whatever. You're going to need Notepad++. You could use Notepad, regular Notepad, but Notepad++, it gives you color information, it gives you stuff that actually makes working with an XML type uh, file easier. And, and if you are going to change any 3D part of the mod, you're going to need Maya or Blender or 3D Max or the application that you need. In this tutorial, we're not going to go that far. We're going to learn how to identify if a mod is color changeable and how to make it color changeable. So let's get to it. So here we are. I've created inside my mod, fold my mod folders the FS22 John Deere 4755 custom. And also, if you watch the previous chapter, you have the card just right now on on the video to go and check it if you want. In the previous chapter you can download the mod desk example XML. This is the base for every mod that you're gonna make and also I brought in the series 4755 tractor from the game, the XML, in order to modify it freely and not and not uh not be afraid of breaking it. Now here this mod desk XML if we open it save it, we close it, let me close everything else, and here we have mod desk. It cannot be mod desk example, okay, okay. like so. Now we're going to take a look at the on the vehicle XML. If you, in the keyboard you press Alt 2, you can track all the levels, all the nodes are the second level. So we have vehicle level 1 and everything else will be considered level 2. So the game is going to compress it. Now, in order to change colors, you're going to look for the base material section. So here on the base material, well, it's telling me series 4755 mat, and it's assigning to the color mat 0, grid 0 of colors, it's assigning it the John Deere green, and also the rear hitch mat, it's assigning color mat 0 to the John Deere green 1. Same, same, uh, same stuff. Now, this is not going to allow you to change colors. That is only going to that material selection 
and assigning it a permanent John Deere green. I want colors. Now I'm gonna grab a piece of my Phoenix. Phoenix is already in in 22, almost almost there. And I'm gonna grab, for example, my base material configurations, and I'm gonna put them down here. Okay, this does not give me colors because we need to add the materials. You need to, in your mind, you need to, you need to build how the mod is how the mod is de declared here in the XML base materials. It contains every material that you want to color in case it's not a default color by Giants. In this case, call everything that is color mat 0, 1, 2 until 7, it's a custom color. You can actually paint it. If it's not in this color, if it's a plastic or a metal or something like that, you cannot paint it. We're going to check it in a minute. But right now, I just want to change the main color and I want to make it, I want to make it color selectable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. Here I have all my colors. You know, you need the 82 Studio Color Palette. I'm going to put that one down here. And the second one, the rear hitch, I'm also going to put it down here. Just be aware, you need to be color mat zero. Okay. Now we're going to close it. And we should be, and we should be good. I can save that one. And something that we actually need to be aware of is this is trying to load a mod icon but we don't have that mod icon yet okay so if we want that mod icon to be shown I'm gonna go back to the mod folders to the to the to the base folders I'm gonna go back oh whoa, whoa. I'm gonna go back to John Deere be careful in this folder okay guys I'm gonna go back to John Deere 4755 and I'm gonna grab that icon I'm gonna grab that image and I'm gonna go back to my creation and put it here. Now this is not a mod icon. A mod icon needs to be formatted. I'm just going to create it and we'll be back when it's done. So here we are with our mod icon already created. Now it makes sense. And also we can actually get rid of that one because this this is re this one is reading the one in the game. It's not reading our our mod icon. It's not reading our our um, store description icon. So if we go here to store data, you see that it's reading it from from the mod itself. You can actually go here into the name and type custom. Custom. And something also nice to do, if you want to identify your your vehicle, your your edits in the map, is actually go down to when it's motorized. And in here when it says 4755, we can actually add here also custom. Then when you when you switch to this tractor, you're gonna see that it's your tractor and not and not the in-game one. Now, this is the in-game one. I'm gonna close the game, go back here, and check it out. So here we are back on Elm Creek. In this in this uh, this time, I've started in um in start from scratch mode. So we don't have uh, we don't have the house in here. We have nothing, but we have five hundred thousand dollars just to test out. Now, where do I find where do I find my mod? I've already loaded it. It's loaded in the game. We're gonna see if everything worked worked it worked fine. We can always go to your medium tractors and then go to the end. But it's gonna say 4755 custom John Deere 4755 custom, and it tells you it tells you it's a mod. Same looking same looking tractor, but it, it's a mod. You can also go to the mods installed in this section. You can go to mods and DLCs, and then you have it here. And also, if you put it into a collection, into a pack, you can go to the packs and put it in your pack. For example, I have all my mods that I'm editing, I add them into a pack, so I don't need to look for them, they appear just right here. In this case, we're going to go to medium tractors, we're going to go to the 48 custom, and as you can see, now we have a blue John Deere. A blue John Deere with some parts that still, still green. Okay, I'm not gonna paint it red. I could, but a lot of people will be uh, will be offended. So I'm just gonna go with gunmetal. Gunmetal is one of my favorite colors. So, but we still have some problems because these pieces are green and they and they shouldn't be green. It means that we're missing some pieces. It means that there are some parts that are using other materials, 
and these materials are not included in the main material of the mod. So now we're going to open Giant's Editor and we are going to either identify those pieces, those materials, and why are they not changing colors. Be back in a minute. Now here we are in the, um, in the vehicles John Deere Series 4755 inside the game. Now, guys, I'm saying that again. Be, be careful when touching here. If you modify or save something, it will change the stamp on it and your multiplayer game will no longer work. So, please be very careful when you touch here. You can always do a copy of this file if you're not feeling comfortable. You can duplicate the game and, and use a copy of the game to change that if you're not feeling comfortable. So in that case, you'll be safer. I'm not going to do that because I kind of know how to recover if I break it. But uh, just heads up, be careful there. I'm going to open it with the Editor 901. It's the one that we have available those days. And we're going to check why these pieces are not changing colors. So here is the mod, and first thing I've noticed is, okay, this section here is changing colors. The lights are not changing colors, and this metal plate here is not changing colors either. It's not changing colors because if we check here, the Sirius 4755 Alpha Mad, it's not on our, on our material list. Let me go down to the, let me go back to the mod. If we go to the base materials, we don't have that material here. The Series 45 Alpha Mat, it's not there. Okay, so that also needs to be here. I've never done that with alphas, to be honest, but let's check what happens. So, Series 4755 Alpha. Series 4755 Alpha. And in here, the, you need to select the object that is going to give the properties to this material. In this case, we have it here, and it's alpha. Type alpha, alpha, so this one, this base node, is not declared on the i3d mapping. We cannot find it here. So we're going to need to control F, let me see, it's only here. So we actually need to declare it because it's not here and it's not going to work. You can declare it here or you can use the node. You can use the node ID that is displayed here, this 103. You can actually do that too. But I wouldn't do that. I would. I prefer if you guys are organized and you actually go down the list in here and you identify the one you like. So series 4755 axis component 2 is the mother of, the mother of this alpha and we have the node here. So I'm going to just undo that and I'm going to go to the series 45 axis component 2. Here we have it. And then we start axis, axis, and that is the zero. We have uh, axis from left, you have it there, and then screws decal 5. We have screw decal 5, we done, we cannot found it. But mine was 103 and here we have 104. Okay, so that works. I'm going to type alpha here and I'm going to grab this and actually translate it into here and put it just right there. So I have now this alpha node identified to my series 4755 alpha mat. That's point one. But we need to check on the shaders. We need to go down here and see if this is at color mat zero. And it is still at color mat zero. So this green is given by the is given by the color mat by the color mask that we have there. That's fine. Now we copy that one. And we need to go to my base material configuration. I'm gonna duplicate that one and paste it here. Now I save that. And the game is gonna refresh exactly what I did just right now. We need to escape the menu and go here. You can see that right now this piece is already is already blue. So that's a win-win. That's, that's awesome. Now, next thing, the um, the front, the top pusher or the top um, the top arm of the three point. That's going to be a little bit more complex. We're going to understand why uh, in a minute. But I'm going to do this part, this green part that it's just inside, that it's bugging me because it's not changing with the with the rest of the body. So let's go here to the to the mod. 
and let's see why this part is not changing with the rest of the body. So for example, I'm going to try to select only this one. Uh, there you go. Okay, it is called, somehow it has, um, it has another piece and it's called rear hitch old. And this rear hitch old is series 4755 rear hitch mat. That's different. So if we go to this rear hitch mat, we have it here and it's reading the rear hitch, but we have another one. I'm, I'm creating a separation here. Because you can type custom um, added materials, for example, just to keep your you keep your XML a little bit organized. So we have rear hitch old. Let me see rear hitch. Oops, rear hitch. And we don't have the rear hitch old actually declared in the i3D mapping. Okay, I'm gonna just double click here and copy this value. Put it here, rear hitch old, and the material is going to be series 4755 rear hitch mat. So I'm going to grab this one, put it here, 4755 rear hitch mat. That's my material. But this reference does not exist. Where is it? Just below rear hitch VIS. Rear hitch VIS, it is identified, so we can look for it. It's just down here. And the rear hitch old is just below that one. Control D, put the old, and we know that it's zero one. one we, we saw that up here, okay? So this rear hitch old right now is identified, is declared as a material inside my mod. I can actually copy that one. I can go down here, duplicate that one, put it here, and just keep the color mat zero. We save it. Go back into the game, and this internal piece is already blue. Okay, we're good there. We only have two pieces left that are not changing colors. Now, the next thing are these lights. These, li these lights are green because I guess they are John Deere lights. So we need to find them and we need to identify. Um, where these lights are located. We are here, but you don't see them because they are dynamically loaded. So we're going to try to identify where these lights are. In order to do that, we're going to go to the XML. We're going to com compress everything and we're going to go to the light section. Now it's saying that working light static 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 and 0, 2. Where are these beauties? Control F. To, to search in the, in the XML, find next. So we have them here. They are at 0, 0, 6, 0, 0. This is, these are the nodes that we have. So 0, 0, 6, shared lights, and here we have them. Are these two beauties there, that beacon light these two lights here are loaded from the game so where are these getting loaded we go down here and we says that it's data shared assets lights lizard working light 22 you need to you need to find those so we go back to our game uh, our game root which is data and we look for these for these paths data Shared, Assets, Lights, Lizard, Working Light 22. Now, if we open the Working Light 22 in here, we open it here. Again, very, very careful when you touch around here, okay? Now, Working Light 22 static, We can you can see that the light is green. So Giants actually made uh, this light absolutely green. So color mat zero is green. So we can actually not change that one because they made it only for John Deere. You have several options here that will include uh, editing this light, um, editing this light in Maya, extracting it, replacing all these things for a local path. 
I'm gonna record that in a separated video for you to understand what I done to get this to get this fixed. But not right now. I just want you to be to be uh, like crystal clear on how to change color on pieces. Now we have also another section in the game that it's not changing colors. We have these um this element that is getting loaded here, the top arm of the th of the three point, is getting loaded here. And it's getting loaded by default in green. So let's see if we can actually do something about it. So here we found it. Now, this is, again, my version. And you can see here that it's getting color John Deere green one. So these attacher join front and these attacher join back. This is back and this is the front. It's always going to be green. And the decal is always going to be white. So something you could do about that in order to have not a matching color but a generic color is actually instead of loading it like John Deere green, okay, what I do is actually duplicate it and then toggle sync and comment to comment that one. I have the original reference here. What you could do is actually go something generic, something black, for example. You can go 002, 002. 002 and uh, 0, a metallic, a metallic black. And we can actually copy that one down here and see, and see if it works. Okay, we left it 002, 002. Now we jump back here. And now we have our, our link. We have a black. Black is generic, black is nice, black is not it's not gonna give us uh it's not gonna it, we change the color we put the color in and we change the color to white and the black is does not well that looks nice though the black does not stand off it is it's it's just there it's black it's nice now we have all the colors that we want and we don't have any any other any other thing to do just remember to check the other video for the lights but before we leave I'd like to I like to include changing colors on the tires. So how do we do that? In order to change the color of the rims, we need to add a new section here that it's not the base material configuration. It is in this case a rim material configuration. I have a bunch of material configurations on my rims, so I'm just gonna go to my Phoenix and copy paste them. It's easier for me. And to me, I'll be I'll be done. I'll be done by that. I, doing that, I'm I'm done. I I just added color configurations to the to the truck and to the to the rim. So before we before we move into the next section, I'm just gonna make sure that the default color that appears when I load the truck the tractor is gonna be exact. It's gonna be the like the John Deere one. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna change John John Deere green value is going to be John Deere green one and I'm not going to give it I'm not going to give a parameter to it okay it's going to be John Deere John Deere green and on the tires I believe I have it somewhere John 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 I have JCB not John Deere but on the tires I'm going to duplicate that one and put it down here and in this case it's going to be John Deere yellow and the color instead of 111 I'm gonna go John Deere yellow one and the material again in this case I'm gonna go six six is a more used uh, metal so I've just preset green as the fall color then yellow as the fall color and added green colors to my to my edit we go to career go to the mid save game we start it and let's check it out. So here we are back on Elm Creek. I'm gonna go to the store. I'm gonna go to install mods and I'm gonna go to my John Deere. And here we have it. Just as it appears in the game. Everything green, but the the link is gonna be black. It's the only change that you're gonna you're gonna notice. Now we go to main color and you can go to gun metal. Remember, there is another video for how to change the color of these preset lights. Just remember to check it out. 
and then on rim colors by default the same one but I can go stainless steel the hubs are not going to change because the hubs is also another section you found the hubs here on the XML when you go to the wheels you now it's four these are all the wheels that this truck has and in here you have John Deere yellow rim color John it's here because it needs to be there but we overwrite this value now color zero John Deere yellow now something that I also that I also like to do is when I'm editing a mod I don't want like um like in-game colors to be there because then it changes if I'm like right now it, it stands off this yellow on the hops it just stands off it, I, it looks horrible so I'm gonna go to 0 0.02 0 0.02 0 0.02 and 0 and instead of shared gray I'm gonna go 0 0.45 0 0.45 0 0.45 and 8 okay these are my two colors I can actually command this line here and it'll be it'll be easier no overwriting now escape go back in here and you see the hub is black but again a black hub does not stand off it's not it doesn't look bad it looks it looks alright it looks alright and we can actually right now go and change you might like it green but you want it uh, like an olive an olive green you might want it I'm should I go red but is the case red it is a case red now people that is watching the video watch this oh we have a John Deere case red okay 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 I'll take it out take it out now oh, thank God thank God those who are uh, we're going to have a stroke you got you got no red for John Deere we're good but you can you can go of course for all sort of combinations you, you go gunmetal and then you go stainless uh, dark steel on the tires on the on the rims stay in the steels please don't go chrome even if you can go chrome even you can go there and say chrome please don't go chrome on a tractor wheels I really appreciate if you don't and we have here my favorite Nokian tires I'm gonna go to dark steel or or even stainless steel we can check that out now we're gonna lease it yes okay let's see how it looks and other than the green lights I, I there is something about um, the gunmetal John Deere's painted painted like that, that I really I really really like now on next video I'm gonna use this mod as the base of uh, further modifications we're gonna add some extra lights we're gonna add some extra options and we're gonna explore a little bit more with colors how to change them how to add more colors we have more colors and how to actually make it look like our tractor and how would you like it to look having said that guys thank you for your time any question any comment please leave it in the comment section below I will try to answer them as soon as possible having said that be nice play nice and see you on the channel bye